<gasps> the blood is still connected to the body. Whoa! Before we start this video, I just would like to thank all my patrons that are going above and beyond to support my channel. You guys are amazeballs. I would also like to thank my subscribers and to those who supported me since the beginning, especially the Wait Army peeps. Thank you guys, you are all amazing. What is up guys, Athena here and welcome again to another Demon Slayer another, <laughs> another Demon Slayer reaction episode. Now, um, as I've said from the reaction episode of Arcane, uh, you know, from the intro, the background is a little bit bare, except for these two boys here uh, keeping me company. It's just that I moved house, so I'm like, you know, there's nothing here in this house at the moment but i just had to like come here and just record um before everything uh comes in here but i am gonna be really busy this week um uh, i was sick for like a couple of days and you know i had a volleyball tournament last weekend and now i'm moving house and then i have a training this thursday and then I have something on this weekend, and then I have like another, uh, what you call this, um, another tournament, volleyball tournament. So it's it's a busy week, very busy. So um, I don't know how I'm keeping up. Well, that's why I got sick. Maybe because I can already foresee the future. <laughs> <laughs> that you know, my body was like, oh, just get sick right now before I give. Or the world gives you like all this stress in the future but uh, I'm ready I'm ready to clean the house I'm ready to play volleyball I'm ready to train I'm ready to join the tournament and I'm ready to do whatever it is that the life is going to bring at me uh, this week so but anyway moving on uh, so we are watching uh, episode 7 but the, just want to say about the previous episode there was a lot of character development uh, previous episode, but um, it is really interesting like how the character development is progressing as the show progressed as well. And it feels like we are getting closer and closer to the climax of the series. Um, but there is one thing that is, has been bugging me since uh, that previous episode is that um, from that episode, Muzan himself ordered Daki to actually eliminate Nezuko rather than Tanjiro. Now, it would make sense if it's Tanjiro because Tanjiro had killed a lot of Muzan's minions and, you know, he is getting probably in his nerves a little bit. So I would get it why if Muzan orders Daki to kill Tanjiro. But I don't get about Nezuko like this is just a hunch, but maybe the fact that she's a demon who refused to drink blood or I suppose follow his ways or maybe just her mere existence is a threat to him. Um, also, maybe because she is the daughter of the one who left an impression of him years back, um, just from what I got with Daki's, um, what was her term? Uh, cell memory kind of thing um, like there was like memories coming into her but it's not hers uh, and she was guessing that it was Musan's memories so yeah not sure if it was Tanjiro's dad or someone else but Musan definitely didn't have a good memory with that dude so yeah things are getting interesting and I think the boys will be in the battle this time including Uzui and I cannot wait to see Uzui fight so, ah, I'm ready. So let's dive into this next episode. Let's go. So before we start this video, please support my channel by giving this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get the latest videos. Because she's strong. Whoa. She grew nails as well. <laughs> Toenails. Greater than her. Ooh! She cut off her leg with 
her leg. <laughs> That's just a flex right there. And not just like a leg, it's a demon's leg, so usually they're hard, but... Oh, the brother! Are these like spirits? Oh. Oh yeah, that's true. Nezuko is not this violent. Oh. Ah! Her neck! Oh wait, she's not gonna die by just like her neck or her head being severed. I'm thinking of Attack on Titans. <laughs> The blood is still connected to the body. Whoa! That's her blood art. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Dude, Nesuko is leveling up. What the hell? Oh, oh my gosh. My girl is so badass. Ooh! I'm happy to see her strong, but I don't like it that she is getting too violent with this. Wow, the movement. Oh my girl! That's like four houses down, just from a kick. <laughs> like, my girl, what happened to you? Maybe she got triggered when she saw Tanjiro. <gasps> Humans. Oh, shit. Oh, don't, don't. You've been so good. This is already like season two. You're doing great. Oh, Nezuko, don't do it. <gasps> Tanjiro. Ow! Ah! I can't with the nails. <laughs> Shit. How do you tame her down? I don't think she needs healing because she has crazy regenerative powers right now. Ooh! She's going crazy. Ooh, what happened to her face? Oh, that's true! So it's not your normal fire. Oh shit. The boys, where are they? Oh please. It's been too Yes, it's here! <laughs> I was gonna say it was Zui. Ow, my daddy! Yes, this try, let's go! He doesn't care about Naki! Dude! Behind you! <laughs> Dude, he's not worried about Daki. That means Daki is weaker than him. Is what I get from this. <laughs> like I said. Not the one? <gasps> Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> he already cut his head! <laughs> I did not see that coming. Holy shit! He is that strong? 
She didn't even realize. <laughs> that is a fucked up picture right there. Can we stop Nezuko first? Wait. Make her sleep. <laughs> she is not budging. What is wrong with her? Poor Nezuko. Snap out of it, baby girl. The piano is seriously like every time I hear it. I don't have any tissue. <laughs> I'm so weak when it comes to like families and stuff, so like Oh, she's so cute. <sighs> No, not the music. What the hell? Oh, the poor siblings. Like, it's fun and all because it's Demon Slayer with demons and Demon Slayers, but they're still kids. She is though. She's not? <laughs> she is a kid. <laughs> what? Look at this. This looks so wrong. Oh my gosh. What am I looking at? Oh, she has a brother. Came out of our buddy. Yeah, that's weird. This is probably the real one. <gasps> he healed her. Whoa! Wait, I saw, I saw a writing. I didn't see. It was too fast. That is one grotesque buddy. What happened to him? I just realized his sword is made out of bones and flesh. Ow! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Okay, Dabby, stop scratching yourself. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, she is a spoiled brat. It's getting on my nerves, actually. <laughs> Ah, so she, he is obsessed with her sister. Okay. He is a doting brother. Oh, Opera 6. Oh, he is the real Opera 6. So I think the brother is the real um, Opera Rank Demon, not the sister. Oh, they're here! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> and Inosuke is... Or is that still sleeping? <laughs> the sound coming from his nose. Oh no, those two... The poor civilians. Hells, heels. <laughs> it looks like Uzui ate all of his meat. Like, no, that didn't sound right. <laughs> I just meant like Uzui's bigger than him in size, you know. <laughs> I'm so bad with English. <laughs> He's flexing now. Ah! Why are you gonna do some self harm? He's nasty. Whoa! Flying blood sickles. It's a decoy. Oh, oh he's hurt! Oh yeah, because he had to protect the um those two. Whoa, so he can control them anywhere, anytime. Whoa! Let's um Oh, that was cool. That kind of reminds me of um, the one from Naruto. The guy with like white eyes. I forgot his name. Shit. And I kind of was like a simp for him. But... Dude, 2v1? So, like... Were they made like that when they were like humans before they turned into demons, or did that happen when they were like during their demon form? Cause maybe they were conjoined twins and then they turned into demons and then they got separated, but then they decided to stay in one body. I don't know, <laughs> I'm just guessing here, but anyway, okay, that was one action pack episode um but it was just that scene with tanjiro and nezuko it was just heartbreaking to watch it like to see tanjiro um, being so desperate to save his sister and you can really feel the urgency and the feel that he might lose his one and only sibling you know like that was really sad and their childhood flashbacks with her mom and you know um the siblings it always gets to me every time like it's just i'm always weak to those things you know so apologies if um you know some of the guys would be like oh she's such a cry baby or whatever but yeah i take it <laughs> i am a cry baby and i'm weak to those things and i embrace it i embrace emotions whatever it is um and i just release it whenever um, so, you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, but anyway, based on this episode, Daki's brother, Yutaro, is being portrayed as the most dangerous villain. Not only is he the biggest threat, but just 
by him being around this early in Tanjiro's life is not funny. Like, Opera 6, like when Tanjiro was fighting Daki, I didn't feel like she is like the strongest, you know, upper rank demon. But she was strong, but she kind of was like, she's doable versus Tanjiro because, you know, Tanjiro was was okay fighting against her but now that the real deal is here now it's a different story like tanjiro is such a danger magnet you know i mean opera six this early but anyway we have Uzubi to help him out and um the two boys are here as well like the boys just joined in the fight but i don't see any chance of them winning against kyutaro though like three of them combined unfortunately but if Uzui Ahashira with the three they might be able to do it but I have already seen a similar picture before with like Rangoku and I don't like where this is going so I'm just hoping we don't experience another Rangoku moment because I'm gonna like really flip I like I don't know how I'm going to handle this because like, I loved Rangoku so much, and I like Uzumi now, um, because I'm a simp, yes. Um, but Rangoku is completely different with, you know, how I felt towards him, but yeah, that's why whenever I see a flashback of Rangoku, I always break down, like, it's just not normal anymore. It's so sad though, like, but it is what it is. With Uzumi though, uh, he is strong, but I still haven't seen him go all out with Gyutaro yet but I think we're gonna see next episode but Gyutaro hasn't I don't think that was already his power if you get me cause, but Uzui was already getting injured from you know the flying sickles so let's see how he is going to fight this real upper rank demon so let's just hope that um, he survives this one because yeah, I don't want to see any of the other in this episode. So, yes. So, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.